back to my channel so i'm just gonna get on into it today i wanted to share just a super quick video of some dinners that i've compiled and with everything that's going on right now we are working our way through our pantry we do keep a rotating pantry so usually about three to four months of food and it's around that time that we just need to eat anything that's kind of not going to expire but things that have just been in the back of the pantry and i've replenished so just eating what came in first so that I can rotate. So I started with some stir fry that I had in the freezer. I do like to keep quite a bit on hand in our freezer so that I can pull out whatever I'd like. It's getting hot now, so we are definitely fans of the crock pot during the summer. I will use that every day if I'd like to. I found a can of hatch green chili. I don't like to use the entire can if you do put meat in the crock pot. It does tend to omit quite a bit of water, so I used about half a can. I threw in a can of black beans. I stewed that on low for about four hours. You can turn this into burritos. You could make it a chili. You could add diced tomatoes. You could put corn in this. You can I use it for anything. Person that if I find 10 or 12 meals that my family loves, I will cycle through those over and over and over again. My husband loves variety. So sometimes it is a challenge just to kind of eat through your pantry and see what you can come up with. I don't like to make meals if I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I am learning recently that it's just kind of fun to kind of go with the flow. Um, these tacos were delicious, so don't be afraid to try something new. The next one is just a super simple, I would call these probably like dump and go recipes. Um, it's just chicken legs. I think there's probably about five or six in this portion. There's I have two little toddlers. If you're new here, I'm a stay-at-home mom. My name is Becca, and I have two little boys under four, so... My husband and I and their two little ones, we don't eat that much protein between the two of us really. Um, so I took the barbecue sauce. You can use anything. I just happened to pick this up on sale. I only used, again, about half of the bottle and that was more than enough. The sauce was delicious, by the way. I personally like to cook low and slow. I don't like to cook things on high unless I'm in a rush, which is very rare. Start it in the morning, let it go and forget it. I had a ton of these instant mashed potatoes that I just needed to cycle through them. So make sure that you check the dates when you are working through your pantry. I just found some corn and green beans. I always have canned vegetables on hand and this was honestly a super simple but very filling and delicious dinner. Everybody had a happy belly and you honestly <laughs> can't ask for more when you're making dinner. You know, not every night that you make dinner. It doesn't have to be this elaborate meal. It's okay to find dinners that are going to work for your budget and work for your family's taste buds. Everything doesn't have to be a five course meal every night. It's okay <laughs> as a stay at home mom to give yourself the permission and grace to say, Hey, this was simple, but everybody was happy. So I'm including the next meal, not to teach you how to air fry a frozen taquito, but I believe that every household should have that one backup meal in the freezer, in your fridge or your pantry. They're needs to be something that you can fall back on when you have a really busy day and you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't take meat out of the freezer, I haven't gone to the store, I have nothing to put on the table. This is something that recently my toddlers are opening up to and they are actually in love with these, so it's something that everybody enjoys. It requires no effort on my part. Usually I would serve Mexican rice, but my sons um, had eaten regular rice prior the day before. I don't like to throw the food away, so we just had white rice with that, and it's a super simple option. So the next one is going to be a piece of beef shank that I found on sale, actually. Don't be afraid when you're in the grocery store at your deli counter to look for meat pieces that you typically wouldn't use. I am not afraid to throw anything in the crock pot. Honestly, you can't really fail. Yes, I've had pieces of meat that turned, did not turn out so great, but what's the fun in trying if <laughs> you don't know? So I honestly will throw anything in the crock pot. I used a seasoning. I used the Kinder Brown Sugar Barbecue Rub. That is a staple in my household. My husband and I love it on chicken, on beef. It's delicious and it breaks down really well. So I don't put anything in the crock pot. Again, the meat is going to omit liquid, so I don't like to add anything. I just dry rubbed it. I spread some on the bottom, called it a day, turned it on low. I chopped up some celery and carrots. These are super inexpensive and you will save money if you buy the carrots <laughs> that you can skin yourself and chop up. It's a lot more cost effective and quite frankly, I think they taste a little bit better. I chopped up a tomato and a cucumber. We have tomatoes with every meal. <laughs> My 
oldest will eat an entire tomato just like his mom so those are always aside and I am always going to offer <laughs> these celery and carrots if you can get your little one to eat them leave it down in the comments below tell me please how you get them to eat their celery and or carrots I had these yams in my pantry I had an idea to try to get my sons to try them to see if I can make them crispy I just kind of winged this recipe in the air fryer for about 15-20 minutes sprinkled some brown sugar and cinnamon I didn't measure I just eyeballed it they came out pretty good they weren't as crispy as I'd like so I'd actually like to look up some recipes obviously using a fresh sweet potato but like I said we are working through our pantry if you like this kind of video give this video a thumbs up but leave any suggestions down in the comments what you enjoy making during the summer I am desperately looking for new recipes especially dump and go i will catch you in the next video don't forget to subscribe i do upload two to three times a week thanks so much for watching